Welcome back to my channel, Aquarius. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment if this reading resonates with you. All right, so tonight we're going to do a reading for um, Merlin's cards and Narcissistic Tarot. So let's take a quick look. All right, so for your uh, current and question that you are and looking for an answer to, go ahead and think about your question right now while I put these cards down. All right, I'm gonna pull some narcissist cards too. So your first card is Moisture, Upright. This represents a man or a boy, and they may be feeling uncertain or even hasty. All right, and it has a reptilian frog on the front. And let's take a quick look and see what kind of narcissist card comes up. We've got Lack of Empathy. So wherever this situation um, is revolving around, they may be having a lack of empathy or they may be struggling with someone who has a lack of empathy. And for your immediate um, factors affecting your situation, the people around you, it's possibly another air sign. And, or this could be you, because it's an air sign. It says a new arrival, a new idea, or a new start. All right, and this is the factors that are affecting your current situation. And um, you may be struggling with blame shifting. All right, so this has to do with someone, um, you know, you go to someone and you tell them a situation and then they, instead of taking, um, you know, into consideration what you're saying, Instead, they turn it on you and try to blame you for the situation. So let's take a look here. Um, for your immediate um, past, we've got dryness, which is uh, associated with your desired results. So you may um, also be concerned about safety and or a crowd. And this is a lion right on the front of this card. So it could have something to do with a Leo. And this is in your past, okay? And the narcissist card that goes with this dryness is um, an empathetic narcissist. All right, so this is a very highly intelligent narcissist, someone who's covert narcissist. Um, and the narcissist goes to therapy. So this is kind of a, like a situation or an example of uh, an empathetic, an, empath an empathic narcissist. So they go along with the situation um, and they imitate the victim. So they can become the victim. So what they do is they, they do a personality swap. So in order to keep the supply from learning, then they, it looks like they can be dece deceiving. So the victim gets a bad reputation. So what they're doing is, so they're going, uh, they, they say, oh, okay, well, sure. I'm, I'm a narcissist. Let me get help. Let me go, let me go to the psychiatrist. Let me get on some meds. Let me, um, let me go to the therapist and, uh, let me go to yoga and let me overcome. And then, um, and then they kind of have a tendency to turn it on you and make it look like everything was all in your head. Um, and it can leave you feeling unresolved if this does happen to you where you're dealing with a narcissist who kind of, um, maybe, maybe the parents and the grandparents and all are aware of the situation. And so, um, they know that it's riding on divorce or something like that for the children then it may cause um, you to feel unresolved. 
you may not be getting any empathy from the situation, from your family, from your friends, from the people who would normally have your back. Um, they're seeing him change. They're seeing him or her. It could be, it could be a woman. Um, confusion, anger. This could even be like um, provoked anger. It says it'll make you feel like everything's your fault. And it says don't feel you you don't feel loved or valued. So if you want to look into this a little bit more, you can look up Michelle Lee Nieves, N I E V E S, and it's coaching on YouTube. That's where I've got this information from for these cards. Uh, not all of them, but this particular card, definitely. So that's what can happen if you do confront someone. Sometimes it's better not to confront a narcissist, especially if they're truly a manipulator. Some people don't know they're narcissists. Some people don't try to be narcissists. Some people are, though, and they purposely are. All right, so for your um, factors affecting this situation, we have a woman or a girl. And this has um, a dolphin right here on front. It says experience, enjoyment, and a woman or a girl. This is factors affecting your situation. Someone may be manipulating you if they try to dodge your questions. Okay? So, a lot of these cards I basically, um, you know, I just look up on YouTube uh, the answer to my question for whatever the situation might be. And then, um, you know, I find these different solutions and put them on, my, on the cards. So, um, a lot of these cards, what I'll do is on the top side of Alrighty, sorry about that. So basically what we were talking about was someone may be manipulating you if they try to dodge your questions. So you gotta watch out for these type of people, um, especially if they like to answer a question with a question. That's a pretty much dead set obvious they are trying to, you know, undermine you. So and for your last future um, outcome, we've got the earth card reversed all right the earth card reversed it's got a taurus on there but it definitely could represent any virgo or um taurus or capricorn so it says that they there might be dealing with greed envy or materialism and um and the narcissist card that goes with this one is the four horsemen of narcissism so the four horsemen of narcissism are criticism. So this is kind of a cycle. So, you, you know, the cycle starts with criticism and then the other person reacts with denial. And then the other person reacts from the denial to contempt. And then the final step is stonewalling, which basically is whenever they just will not communicate with you anymore. They are... Um, tired of your baloney and you are tired of theirs and the stone walling is pretty much the the solidifying of the end of the relationship so when you get in a situation where you don't want to talk to your lover anymore and you know that you do indeed love them you be careful what you say because you might be pushing them away so what can we do to manifest something a little more positive for our future let's take a manifestation card so for manifestations, it says success. In order to manifest success, um, you can use affirmations. And it also has a write the story as you already have what you dream of. All right. I had to write down affirmations on this card because I do not really use affirmations, but it has definitely helped me with success in the past. Um, so I feel like it's really strong, um, solid, you know, help, if, especially if you're trying to overcome something in the workplace. All right. So thank you all so much, Aquarius. Uh, I know that some of my personal friends that are Aquariuses are going through some pretty rough times right now. So I just want to send out some love to my 
Aquarians, um, good vibes and um, personal growth. All right, I love you. Please come back and see me. Leave me a comment and let me know if this reading does indeed resonate with you.